Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos, we are going to utilize AI, artificial intelligence to make and analyze our existing videos. For every session of CSI and Life Science, I already make videos on the most important topics for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination. And if you are wondering what are the most important topic from individual units for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination, then this video is going to help you. But this is a disclaimer that this video is made with AI because it I already made four or five different videos on individual units. From all the other units, I compiled them with the help of the AI and AI analyzed all of my videos and my strategies and it put together as a summary for all of you. Under seven, eight minutes, you're going to get a crisp and to the point summary of the preparation of any individual topics of CS and Net Life Science Unit, be it Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. For all the 13 units, you will get this video series both in English as well as in Hindi. So just don't leave the video because it's made with AI. AI can do wonders. Don't think that a teacher, if he's using AI, that means a teacher is not doing its job. Teacher is obviously doing its job, but it's compiling them with the help of the AI to take it to the next level. And I bet that after going through this video, if you watch one of this video, you'll be hooked and you'll continue the series and that is out there. Now, why I'm making this with the AI? Because I've already made it multiple times manually and it does not make sense making the same video every single time. So I tried something new this time with the help of the AI watch i believe you are going to like it if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike mention why you dislike and if you like to get more content like this also mention that in the comment section hey everyone and welcome if you're gearing up for the csir net life sciences exam you already know unit 10 ecology and environmental biology is a huge deal seriously it can feel like this massive intimidating territory you have to cover but you know what that's exactly what we're going to crack today. So how in the world do you conquer a unit this important? Well, you definitely don't just wander in and hope for the best. Nope, you need a plan. You need a strategy. And you should think of what we're doing here as getting you that strategic map, the one that's going to help you navigate the entire syllabus efficiently and, most importantly, effectively. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so here's our game plan. First, we're going to map out the entire syllabus. Then, I'm going to share some key intel about the exam pattern itself, stuff you absolutely have to know. And finally, we'll zero in on your top five mission-critical topics. First things first, the syllabus map. You know, a really common mistake students make is trying to give every single topic equal time and energy. But the real secret here, the key to maximizing your score, is knowing exactly where to focus. It's all about prioritizing. And to make this super simple, we're using a color-coded system. Think of it like a traffic light. Green topics are your absolute highest priority. These are your non-negotiables. Yellow topics are moderately important. You need a really solid foundation here. And the red topics, you just need to know the basics. This legend right here is your key to studying smart. So let's start in the green zone. These are the heavy hitters, the absolute core of Unit 10. Population ecology is huge. We're talking everything from growth curves and R slash case selection to metapopulations. And right there with it is community ecology, which is all about species interactions and community structure. Seriously, if you master these two, you are already way, way ahead of the game. Okay, next up are our yellow topics. These are super important because they provide all the crucial context. And honestly, they're a frequent source of questions. You've got to know the difference between a fundamental and a realized niche, the whole process of ecological succession, and of course, how energy flows through ecosystems. Also critical here are applied ecology, so think pollution, the IUCN list, and conservation biology. And you'll want to pay special attention to India's conservation projects there. And finally, we've got the red topics. Now this does not mean ignore them. It just means don't get totally bogged down in the details. For the environment, you really just need the plus two level basics on biotic and abiotic factors. And for biogeography, the one key concept they almost always ask about is biodiversity hotspots. Just know that and you're good to move on. All right, so we've moved from the what to study. Now let's talk about the how. 
I want to share a really key piece of exam intelligence, a little bit of insider info that reveals a hidden pattern in how they actually design the questions for Unit 10. So here is the big twist, the thing that might change your entire prep strategy. You think ecology is all about analytical skills, right? And it is, but that's only half the picture. The hidden pattern is the shocking amount of weight they give to pure memory-based knowledge. I'm not kidding. Even in the super complex Part C questions, your success can literally depend on whether you memorized some specific facts. For a lot of students, this is a total eye-opener. Exactly. This quote just nails it. You can understand a concept like succession perfectly, but you still need to have memorized specific facts, names, or lists to actually get the marks. So the big takeaway here is this. Do not, and I mean do not, neglect your memory work, not even for the most analytical parts of the unit. Okay, so with that critical insight fresh in our minds, let's get to the most actionable part of this whole thing, your final checklist. This is it. This is your top five mission for Unit 10. Here they are, your five primary targets. You need to lock these in. Population ecology, community ecology, ecosystem ecology, applied ecology, and conservation biology. These five topics are your most direct path to absolutely mastering this unit. And you want to know the best part? If you really focus your efforts on mastering just these five areas, you are effectively covering almost the entire high-yield portion of the syllabus. This is the very definition of working smarter, not just harder. This focused approach is absolutely the key to success. So there you have it. You've got the roadmap, you've got the key intel, and you have your five primary targets. The only real question left is the one you see right there on the screen. Which topic will you conquer first? So I believe you got an overall detailed idea about how do you prepare this particular unit for the CSI net, upcoming CSI net life science examination preparation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, colleagues and subscribe to this channel. And also mention what necessary adjustment that we need to do to make more of this kind of videos. Should you make them? Should you not make them? And also, uh, if you wish to join Shomu's biology, because this video is actually made from four of my YouTube videos. I feed four of my existing YouTube videos and AI gave this output. So it is basically my own content. It is churned content of mine. So if you wish to get this content, if you want to get trained by me, get coached by me for CSI Net Life Science Examination Preparation, then join our online coaching. That mission is going on. Contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our Shomus Biology application from Google Play Store. You'll find all the course details in there. You can also buy our study material package, 5 books, 3,900 rupees, 5 books plus 64 GB recorded lecture content, 8,900 rupees. Always from our website or directly from us by contacting 9804654228 number in WhatsApp. So mention your, uh, you know, say in the comment section so that I get to know whether you liked it or not. See you there in the next video. Thank you. Bye.